this morning on the bench. I have a Astro Owl. Kind of a mini refrigerator. The lady brought me this. She's saying that it's not, it stopped working. We're gonna test it out and see what it's actually doing when it's on off. I'm gonna plug this in. There's a switch here, warm and cold. We'll put it on cold. And the light is always blinking. Can you guys see the fan? The light is blinking green and it should always be on. But the fan wants to start going, but it's not. It goes like this. Oh, there must be an issue with the circuit board. We'll open this up and see. See what we can find. We're going to start digging in with this and see what I can find. What I need to do is uh, the screws are behind this cover, so I need to take this cover off in order to get to the screws. So I'm going to try to do this as gentle as I can. just we can just glue it back in there we go the only way to get to the circuit board What I'm going to do is I'm going to check some of the solder in. I don't suspect the fan, there's anything wrong with the fan, I don't think. I think it's more of an issue of a capacitor. I can't see any soldering that needs to be retouched. I think everything looks good here. This is what I want to get at. I want to get to this board. So I got a couple of screws. There's one. There's two. There's a lot of heat here. And it was really dusty as well. So, it, so maybe the dust created some sort of a short. I'm not sure. I'm looking at right now what I'm looking at is I'm looking at some soldering to see if I can't find anything that's jumping at me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check these caps. There's one, two, three, four caps on this. Check them really quick. Because the way it was going on and off, on and off, possibility that it could be a cap. I've tested all these capacitors. Uh, checked all these capacitors. This one here, I suspect, is the one that's causing the issue. This is a 10 microfarad at 50 volts. It's testing really high. 
I've marked it and I'm gonna take it out of circuit. Okay, this capacitor is a 10 microfarad at 50 volt. <clears throat> Let's put this on the meter. I'm hoping you guys can see this. I've always liked to use this once in a while. The legs are not very long on them, so we'll get her. Let's test this. Should be a 10 microfarad, which it is. The voltage loss is 9.1, and look in the e look at the ESR, 74 ohms. This capacitor should only be around maybe one ohm at the most. 74 ohms. And this is, I believe, 100%. This capacitor was the cause of all the issues I had with this. So... This capacitor will be changed with this capacitor. So we'll do that right now. And I know this is gonna be working. Again, you need to make sure that the long leg is the positive, the shorter leg is the negative. You can tell by the bar here, this is the negative. Okay, this is the positive. And on my circuit board, This is the negative on my left, and on my right here is the positive. So just follow those rules, and you are not going to have an issue. If not, you could have a surprise. So just bend these like this. We're going to resolder this. It's this simple. these legs usually the smallest cap that gives you a hard time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test this. I just want you to take a look at the fan because it was the fan that was uh, not starting. Switch this on. And there it is. Fan is running. The light is staying on. All this because of this capacitor we placed it this thing is ready to go we'll unplug this and put this back together <laughs> Thank you.